1955 Chris Crafts Commander, 42 foot. Uh, it's got the original Chrysler Hemi motors in it, 331s. It was on the, uh, brought it down from St. Paul, Minnesota. It had, it had been on the Mississippi River for 26 years in the same slip up there. Brought it down to Lake of the Ozarks in 2003. Um, have done work to keep it maintained and, and more. Um, Al has done a lot of the work on this boat, most of the work on this boat. And uh, just a cool old boat. Yeah. Al, you were talking about the motors on it. Can, yeah, you, can you just tell us a little bit what's what's inside of it? And the 331 Hemis were built and designed basically as an industrial continuous running motor and so it left us a lot of longevity to work with. They had to have the heads off, the cylinder heads off, but other than that everything on the lower end is original. The hull had to have some wood planks replaced and uh, in my shipwright career this system where they use epoxy barrier coat on wood and then bottom paint on that really adds to the longevity of the hulls when they're you know asking for tender loving care so that's kind of it and I did the top sides in the water she's a little better off either in or near the water than ever hauled so she doesn't dry out and that's one emphasis I put for wood boat owners is if you can keep them on a lift above the water under a metal roof they'll last a lot longer than if there's garage stored with the heat and they can dry out. That's something from a wood boat building career that I had second year high school and then to Greeley Shipyard in Chicago and then to a company on the west coast that built 65 to 100 all wood. So you learn a lot about wood. And that's due to, I guess, the swelling and just can span, well, or, uh, can... You, you understand that wood has a certain limit and the age of it can cycle some pretty fair extremes, but if we all think of the wood cellular structures being a straw and that straw gets weak with age and the last thing you want it to do is go through extreme and just find an environment with enough humidity like we have here in Lake of the Ozarks that you can seal it up to hold this moisture and probably go on for another 30 years if caught right and, and sealed up well enough. When it comes to the, the design of this boat, you were talking about the lines in, in the cabin down below and kind of just how it, it looks from up here at, at the captain's helm. These are displacement hulls that were kind of Navy inspired World War II. These lines are off of that same drawing scale that you might say, put in a different proportion, but they can take on tremendous weight and still achieve some pretty decent speeds. So having the engines that um, can propel it up to have a solid enough bottom that when you go into a plane, the bottom will carry it without leakage or let's say fatigue. This boat didn't come with planking seams and I chose to cut those in with a saw and a router. And this was all done in the water. Quite a challenge, but there's that respect of keeping the water as a temperature sink and the humidity to where the boat never gets the extreme of dry out. Anybody storing a boat has a big uh, issue with the environment they store it in and on a lift in the water regardless year round for a plank mahogany boat really turns out to be the way to treat it. I have to build special bunks for these bottoms to be able to support more wood and pressure for them to stay the amount of time they do on a lift. But that's all part of being retired shipwright and under a boat you, you build a, a bunk that kind of looks like a propeller blade when it's laminated against the bottom of the boat and then introduced to the lift to make contact to the bottom. We have to think those bottoms 
spend most of their life on the lift waiting for you to put them in the water or take them out. So it's really a, a thing to have a system together for old folks in a lot of different directions. Yeah. Can you talk about, you got the theme going on here uh, throughout the whole boat. It's a 1955 boat, so it's it's got all 55 uh, appliances downstairs, uh, coffee pots, red box, uh, cameras, magazines, calendars, uh, keep it as retro as it used to be. Just a cool boat. Yeah, very cool.